coverage you can count on. Oh, so that's why we're here to raise their voices and take their petitions back to the White House. Leaders in the Hispanic community here in northern Nevada and on a national scale are rallying for immigration reform. What they're hoping to accomplish with events like these tops Channel 2 News at 11. Well, members of northern Nevada's Latino community played host to Illinois Congressman Luis Gutierrez tonight. Good evening. I'm Bill Brown. I'm Kristen Remington. Thanks for joining us tonight. The Reno visit was all part of Gutierrez's nationwide tour to advocate for new immigration laws. Ariana Bennett went to the town hall meeting tonight. She joins us now live in the newsroom with the story. Ariana, what was this meeting all about? Well, it was mostly a response to the attempt at immigration reform back in December when the Senate failed to pass the DREAM Act. The bill would have provided a path to legality for young immigrants if they went to college or joined the military. Now, leaders in the Hispanic community are rallying support, hoping to catch the attention of President Obama. The challenge is with the President of the United States because he has complete discretion and authority to take these actions. Gutierrez, along with local Latino activists, are speaking up to express their frustration with the defeat of the DREAM Act in the Senate. Some in English the reality is there. and some in Spanish. Or in other words, of the 216 votes in favor of the DREAM Act, 208 were Democrats. That's a majority that they just don't have in the House anymore. And that leaves some worried that if President Obama doesn't take executive action, the DREAM Act could stay just that, a dream. But we all know it's not going to happen. You can bring us relief. You can take the kind of presidential action and leadership. And while they wait for further action on the DREAM Act, they're hoping they can put a stop to the deportations of illegal immigrants. Gutierrez, there are 400,000 immigrants deported each year, a practice that these speakers say can break up families. Many of these people are, um, are not criminals. Uh, many of them are uh, workers and, and their families are, are being split apart. So we are concerned about that. Of course, immigration is a controversial issue, with opponents reluctant to grant amnesty to those who entered the country illegally. Still, De La Rosa says keeping productive immigrants in the country can only be a benefit to society. We know that it's not easy, uh, but uh, if they pay penalties, if they pay taxes, if they learn English, if they get a back background check, um, um, I think that might be enough for them to start um, getting this opportunity. Well, organizers say the main goal of these town hall meetings is to collect signatures on their petitions that will go straight to the White House. Their goal for tonight was at least 200 signatures. Covering the story live in the newsroom, Ariana Bennett, Channel 2 News. All right, Ariana, thank you. Well, look